I've been shopping. Come and have a look what I got. Doing my usual shopping this morning, having a little look around, and I came across this, and I noticed it was new. And it's um, Cathedral City, our cheesy hash browns. Hash browns with onions and cheddar cheese. 340 grams, and there is the serving suggestion. So I took them to the till. They scanned it through. Four pounds and 50 pence. Four pounds 50. What is going on with the prices, Iceland? Iceland was empty, and it's no wonder at them prices. Anyway, rant over. Let's have a look at these. <laughs> Come on, it's just, it's just shocking, isn't it? Come on, £4.50. I'm absolutely thrown now with this one. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we? Let's have a look. Nutritional information there, if you want to pause it and have a look at that. By all means, go ahead. They are the ingredients, and the allergen is milk. Suitable for vegetarians, you'll be pleased to know. Potato, 68%. Cathedral City cheddar cheese, 19%. Onions, 4%. Wowzers. They're just going up and up and up the prices. 300, I know I keep going on about it, but oh, I just, yeah, anyway. Cathedral City, our cheesy hash browns. Shredded potatoes and onions with Cathedral City cheddar cheese and lightly fried. Ways to cook. For best results, cook from frozen Oven from frozen, air fry from frozen. It's up to you. So we've got a little bit of spiel as always. I've done quite a lot of these Cathedral City um, products, different ones. They've been hit and miss. So let's get them open and see what we really get. Have we got a tab system? Can we get them open without scissors or a knife? Not really, no. So I've got some scissors we'll have a look we'll get them open we'll see what we've got see what we're getting for our four pounds and fifty pence how many are we get getting let's have a look let's count them so we're getting four five six seven so let's just do the maths 64 pence that cost 64 pence Goodness gracious me. That serving suggestions in question. What we're just having it with some tomato and what are them and mushrooms? <laughs> I'm going to do mine in here. I'm going to do them on the bake. It says 170 for 10 minutes. So I'm going to do mine at 160 because obviously air fry as well. I'll put them in at 170. Are, they are air frying instructions and I will do it for 10 minutes. So after five minutes, you're to turn them over and do them um, five minutes on the other side. Now, I know I've had a few comments from people saying the, your, your reviews are becoming negative and, you know, I, I understand that. The product reflects the review and at this day and age, at this current climate, the price is reflecting the review. They might be lovely, they really do might be lovely, but you know, it's £4.50. I can't not talk about the price because it's getting a joke. I'm going to get off my soapbox in a minute, but what's going on? You know, are there upper echelons of management at Iceland not getting the facts and figures through from the lower management? What is going on? Because this is not, Iceland used to be for the normal person shopping, it did. And now recently, the last six months particularly, the prices have gone up. They're going up crazy rate, they really are. Every week they're going up, every month. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So let's, uh, let's just wait and see what these are like. They're done. They are smelling good, mind. They are. So, yeah, they're not. They're not crispy. Now, 
that was per instruction. I know they're only guidelines. I reckon it'd been better done on air crisp. Might have got some crispiness in there. I'm gonna cut one in half and we'll have a look. Yeah, that's the cheese though, isn't it? That's why it's the cheese, if you know. That's why they're the way they are, because of the cheese. Oh, look at that. Mm. Now let me pick it up for you. That's why they're the way they are. The cheese ooziness. I've got a few shadows. I do apologise. And not for the group. And they are piping hot in the middle. It depends how you like them. I'm going to try it now. I'm going to have to give them a few, few more minutes to cool down. Goodness gracious, they are hot. They are hot and they are a bit soggy. I'm going to blast them. I'm going to put them on air crisp. 200 degrees. That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. <laughs> Don't give up your day job. Um, let's have a look. See, I'm going to blast them for... I'm going to give them four minutes so it is already preheated. And we'll see what they're like. So I've blasted these and... Yeah, they're still, they're still soggy. I think it's just how they are with the cheese. Yeah, still still soggy. This, right, I'm going to try them now. I'm going to chop these bits up because it is red hot. And I'll give you, I'll give you the verdict. See the steam coming off them. So what are these like then? Well, they are, they are soggy. Mm, a little bit more crispy on the outside, but they're very greasy. They taste greasy, they taste fatty, and not in a nice way. Not in a nice way. The cheese is very, very, very faint. Now, these are a Cathedral City brand. They're supposed to be absolutely screaming cheese, and they're not. The onion is quite faint as well. Mm. The, 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 I don't know what they fried them in, but I can taste it, and it's not, it's not great. Cheese is very, very, very faint. Not doing it for me. It's definitely won't make me head sweat with this cheese. I think you need to just stick to doing blocks of cheese, Cathedral City. You just stick to doing what you're good at. It's just blocks of cheese, please. Just my opinion. And I'm not alone. Get real. Get real. I know it's probably, you know, everything's to, everything's to blame, isn't it? Everything's to blame for this. I don't want to go down this sort of kind of root um, but you know when you look at what's happening in the world it all aids to the price increase thanks for watching oh that was hot I do want some positivity I love positivity I really do but in these current climate it's difficult it's difficult to get positivity out of anything we're buying at the moment because everything is so expensive and I'll keep going on about expense but it's what we're all living off it's what we all you know we don't go to the shops with no money and come out with bagfuls and shopping trolleys full of food we don't we have to buy stuff with money and everything's so expensive and the normal people can't afford it. They can. Anyway. That's just life. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one.
delete them. 